I don't even have a place to sit in here. <laughs> Definitely Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground Let's sit on the stool. Can you see how messy this place is? I wish you guys could see the plants. That's kind of more springy. We took our propagated plants this week and put them in the window. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly Take me high. The sun usually hits back here like afternoon to sunset, so they'll get some good sun here. I am forever figuring out my, my vlog setup or camera setup because I got a new microphone, which is great because I never have to remember to turn it on. It's great for vlogging when I don't need to use my like set piece, which I only really use that if I have to walk, I should use it when I drive. But this one's great for just around the house, you know, but I can't really see myself. <sighs> Today, I'm so sore. I feel like I had a terrible sleep. My back aches, <laughs> my pelvic bowl aches and I'm just needing to go really slow today. So I'm gonna honor that. It's actually this, so it's actually spring, why like even just, ah, every time I, I like, bleh, bleh, can't. I feel slouchy, I feel anxious. Like I don't, I feel like I'm tripping over my words when I go to vlog. I'm overthinking everything. I'm just feeling peaked, but in a tweak way. It's the spring equinox today. And on top of that, it's the new moon. And on top of that, I am probably gonna get my cycle any moment now so I can understand why I'm feeling this way. Like, uh, like my heart, I don't know, my chest feels kind of tight today. I'm just like, how do I, <laughs> I do know how. You just do the things you need to do, but I want to, I want to honor the way that I'm feeling is what I'm trying to say and bring a sense of softness into what I have to do tonight and just be kind to myself today. And this vlog was originally going to be my dopamine digital detox, but because I was detoxing from digital, I felt like I, I didn't vlog very much, but I'll show you what I did. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile. I'm moving closer to you now. I can't get close enough somehow. This last week prior, I deleted Instagram, Facebook, like all of the apps on my phone, which I don't, I don't really use a whole lot of social media outside of maybe Pinterest and I would say Instagram the most. I've danced with TikTok, but I don't know why. I just like, I, I always end up deleting it from my phone. I haven't had it on my phone since I was maybe a few months pregnant. I think it was just like one night I caught myself scrolling and it was getting so late and I was like, I can't stop. And that feeling scared me a little bit. So I deleted TikTok, though I, I think that it's interesting. I think that it's got good content, at least from what my friends send me. Like I'll still watch one when they send it to me. Wow, wordy. But yeah, I feel like I use Instagram the most. I use Pinterest the most. I use Discord the most because there's a members Discord, which we have conversation starters every day. So I find that I'm definitely on there. That's kind of like my happy place escape from just the day to day. I love being a mom, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I just wanna have, you just wanna talk about Taylor Swift or you wanna talk about what you're eating that day or you wanna talk about like the challenge you, you're going through that week and like how you're kind of getting through it. And I just feel like that is exactly that place. Each week, like today was Monday mood. So we all just make mood boards and we just drop our mood boards onto the discord and everybody's just like pumping each other up and like, get it, you know? That's been nice to have going through motherhood because I feel like most of the time I'm like baby talking. So to be able to check out and check into that is really fun. All of this is to say, I feel like I didn't do the most intense detox. Today is actually day two, it's Tuesday. I started yesterday and while I didn't really vlog a whole lot, I'll just give you like a recap. I did show deleting the apps off my phone and now it's Tuesday, one full day into this. And so far I actually feel really, really good. Someone in the group did actually detox from Spotify and I have so much respect for her, but wow, I don't know if I could do Spotify. Like right now I'm working out and I just, I couldn't. She got home from work and put on a record instead of playing Spotify and how it reminded her of growing up and playing CDs and that inspired 
Yeah, that inspired me. So I'm thinking maybe I might play some records this week too. If I can catch myself being like, do I need Spotify in this moment? Or could I play a record? I'm gonna get my workout in for the day. It's currently 9.10. Easton's about to go down for a nap around 9.30. So I'm gonna bike for 20, put him down for a nap and get ready for the day. And it'll be nice because there will be no distractions between now and then. I was lost, I was lost without any direction Had a line so many times, but I needed attention No matter what I say, no matter my regrets Things still been said and done mm -hmm. There's not a part of me that wants to say no So I just walked around the house and went through each room and just wrote down what we need to basically do for chores this weekend or just like a general gist and anything that felt like it was more than a like more than just a 15 to 20 minute re-clean. I moved over here for part of the spring clean that I'm going to be doing next week. So this is my current office setup, which this is definitely one of the rooms that needs to be spring cleaned. Like I should be using one of my two desks, but instead I'm using this chair as a desk. Hi buddy. Also happy St. Patty's Day. This is gonna be uploaded later, but Fridays, I like to basically do all of my planning and reset. I was looking up some baking, baking sheets. I wanna make cinnamon buns this weekend. So Pinterest was part of my detox, but I did go on Pinterest today just to plan some, like my menus, which I was talking about in last week's vlog, but I do, I've been planning weekly menus, which has been nice for groceries and just making sure, I don't know, it's just been fun. I've been really enjoying cooking and, and baking. So we need to hang up our new coat rack and figure out what we're gonna do for a bench in there, figure out our kitchen game plan. That's our next big renovation for the house. Um, this is actually not for Ryan. <laughs> this is just for me. It feels weird that I'm not showing you my face, but I need to show you what I look like right now. This sweater I was wearing yesterday, my hair I threw in a ponytail without brushing this morning. Just had a bagel, so there's probably poppy seeds in my teeth. I just feel self-conscious, which is why I'm talking to the camera face down, in case you're wondering. But whatever, let's just be... Let's give it a try. I got this really random idea. It's not really even that like bizarre or creative or unique of an idea, but just, you know how each year growing up as a kid, you get a school portrait. So there's always like a yearly documentation of, you know, you that celebrates you retaking a little portrait of ourselves each year. And then that also, that's beneficial for me because then I can update my socials, like the little icon on my socials for Instagram and YouTube in terms of my, I hate that. I hate that my life is a brand, but like my branding on my social media presence so I'm gonna try and reshoot a portrait. And I was like, I really like the one that I did last year. This is when I was pregnant and I re redid my socials around springtime last year. And I'm thinking I wanna make that part of my spring clean this year. If you were to want to highlight your year or this age of who you are, what would it be? So it doesn't need to be like a high def camera. It doesn't need to be an elaborate setup or anything. Like Easton's been having his monthly milestone portraits, so he doesn't really need anything planned, but I'm gonna see if Ryan will let me do a portrait. Like I just, nothing, nobody ever has to see it, but just like a picture of him as he goes into his birthday in April. When was the last time you had a self portrait? When was the last time you documented like, this is what this stage of my life looked like. Easton's up, so I'm gonna go get him and then log all of the tasks that I just collected from walking around the house into my reminders app. I did gain some insight though. Deleting Instagram from my phone, my screen time went down and I found I didn't actually really miss checking Instagram, but I missed posting to Instagram. And then my further thought on this realization is like, that's one a little self-centered that's sitting with me. I don't have a collected thought on that yet, but I re-downloaded Instagram and my screen time with Instagram jumped to 45 minutes yesterday. So I went from not checking it at all 
not going on it at all to 45 minutes. Like that's almost a full hour in a day, which when I think of all the things that I now wish I could do with just like 45 minutes, baby E's napping right now. And so these are the moments that I get to vlog finally, or that I get to do a couple little things or like sometimes it's just to shower or sometimes to make myself a meal. And so, yeah, when I think about what I could be doing with those 45 minutes, there's just, to me, I'd rather be doing other things. So I'm gonna try and hijack that part of my brain. So I set a timer on my phone for Instagram to 15 minutes. And I feel like it's nice because today's the first day I'm doing it. It's Monday now and I've already been on Instagram twice, but both times I stopped myself and like got off the app pretty quickly because I found myself being like, wait, don't waste time. You only have 15 minutes, like use this in good doses throughout the day. So all this to say, I learned a lot from detoxing. I think next time I would go with a little bit higher intensity if it lines up to a week that I'm feeling, you know, matches that. But this week I think I did the best I could. <laughs> I detox off Instagram and Facebook, but like Facebook doesn't count because I barely go on Facebook. Like maybe once a week I'll go on Facebook, but I'll do like a deep dive. Like I'll go on Facebook for like 20 minutes and then I'll get off and then I won't go on again for a week. But just to even take that out was nice to just take everything out and just be that. And I, from Tuesday to Friday, so for four days, detox off coffee creamer. That's not even a real detox, but I'm gonna start making French press during the week now instead. And then I restocked us with a coffee creamer that doesn't have sugar in it so that if you do want to, you know, break through the acidity of the coffee a little bit, you can, but it's less sugar. Cause I feel like I don't, doot, I like doot with my coffee creamer, you know? So today I have a live stream. It's a live spring cleaning. This challenge for this week is to do some spring cleaning. I genuinely don't know if it's gonna be feasible for me to spring clean my entire house in a week. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna go, like I said, into this very softly and I'm gonna see what the outcome is at the end of the week and then, you know, regage and replan. So today I wanted to do a little bit of my spring cleaning planning. Yesterday we did it during the Sunday session, but I still feel very uncollected in terms of what I know or what I feel needs to be spring clean. Like I need to see something visually that just represents what I'm trying to do. Words usually work. So lists are a thing for me. Oh, he's awake. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do before my event? I should do it now, actually, while Ryan's at Home Depot so that I can go full tilt. <laughs> it's have a dance party. I feel like if I put on a song and we dance, you jump, you jump, I dance. And I feel like I would feel a lot better and a lot more prepared to go into the mindset of like, okay, I have to like do a couple things today and I really wanna do them, but I also wanna do them tenderly. That's so lame, but like, yeah, tenderly. Remember just being little and you'd move around your belongings because your parents wouldn't let you move your furniture and then everything in your room felt like a brand new room, but it wasn't. You just moved your stuff. That's fresh. I feel like around the house, I have enough little knickknacks. Like I could probably find a different candle to put in here, bring a new plant in here or something, although our money tree is kind of thriving. Freshening up the space once it's clean. So I'm going to turn on some music right now. I'm going to dance so I feel better. And then I'm gonna plan my spring clean. <laughs> I think that means we're ready. I'm so ready to just like utilize this whole space again. I mean, this has been utilized. That whole corner stays pretty tip top just for filming the coffee talks, but everything else. I'm gonna refresh this backdrop to something for spring. I don't know if I'll get to all of that today. Definitely need a day dedicated to just like digital spring cleaning. What do we got in here? Let's just shuffle. Yes. What is that? What is that? How interesting would this look like if you were new to the planet? Just this thing on a stick that your mom's talking to? What? Do we hate it? Do we love it? We don't know. We're indifferent. We're neutral. Why do we have to hate it or love it? Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put 
your favorite music on all the way baritone. Shut the lights, go in front of So our boiler broke and that meant we had no heat or hot water for like more than a few days. So I did take some clips of all of my drawers to show befores, although I don't know if I edited them all into this vlog because I think I'm not going to get to my wardrobe till next week. So I'll do all of the before afters of those later, but I can show you the before and after of my makeup desk and my makeup drawer because I did do that actually yesterday. So this whole station that you can see here has been all fixed up. I was walking around with post-it notes and I did just show those too. So anything with a orange label, it was a way for me to visualize where everything was going to be organized. So before I really jumped into all of the cleaning and everything, it's exactly what I'm gonna do with my uh, clothing, but I haven't done it with the clothing yet. However, I'll show you a before of what this drawer was. It used to be tops. So I organized all of my extras into here. And the, all of this is from, still from when I lived in Toronto. I mean, most of it is. So lips, eyes, palettes, face, face. Yeah, you kind of get the drill. And then a makeup bag for travel. This was the drawer I was putting off the most. So I'm glad that I got that done. Down here, I still need to kind of organize this a bit, but this is sunglasses. These are nails or like nail polish um so i can i'm not going to take all of these down until i've done everything but i can pretty much con conclude that that's finished up here are daily face hair and body prep products so up here this is kind of like my drop off station now so i'm gonna change my watch and my headphone chargers i'm gonna bring them up here and just tuck them behind the mirror so i can charge these things but my makeup brushes which i still need to clean um, some jewelry. This is like my favorite necklace and this ring is my new favorite ring. This is actually Ryan's mom's ring and my go-to fanny pack. I've been super into the fanny packs lately. And then this section is a new favorite. So down here was super disorganized. You saw it before. It was like mostly hair products and hair tools. So now it is hair stuff over here, more so hair styling. Um, my hair care is in the bathroom now and my daily face so this is the stuff that i use more every single day or like products i'm about to switch over to like um, these are extra baby wipes that easton was having a bad reaction to so i put them in here so i can use them for just like wiping down my hands wiping down you know surfaces things like that that's it for this whole section so now this is all cleaned and organized in here, there's still some organization to do. Like I haven't gone through these drawers yet. These two are the only organized just because they're towels, so it was easy. We each have a drawer in the bathroom now. Like this is Ryan's daily drawer. This is my daily drawer. And then I was using the green post-it notes to write down what actually went into this. So this drawer is pretty much done as well. So I have my daily face towel that I use to dry off at the end of the night when I'm washing my face. Um, some extra masks that I need to use up. This is just my daily detangler brush or post shower wet hair detangler. A little mister for my face, um, a scrunchie, lady products, extra razor refills, and then this is kind of like my daily skin care. Like I have my exfoliator, my face wash, my jojoba oil, my lip mask, um, makeup remover with reusable makeup remover pads that you can wash in the wash and dryer. This is my daily deodorant. Ew, sorry. <laughs> this is just like a product I need to use up. It's actually, I've had this for years, but I'm so close to finishing it. So I put it in here, so I'll keep using it. I think it's like a stretch mark oil, but I prefer to use jojoba oil, but while I have it, I'm just gonna try and finish it out so that I can officially call that product done. But yeah, all of the other drawers still need to be organized. This is where I ended up putting all of my hair tools and extra hair products, scrunchies. Um, I'll give you guys a tour of the rest of the drawers when we finish them or I finish them. So next will be wardrobe. So that is phase one of my spring cleaning. I still have to do Easton's room, the yoga room, and the laundry closet, but for the most part, I feel like I got a good start. And then this bathroom and the downstairs bathroom are like half done as well. So I'm gonna try and do something with this whole 
look that I've got going on right now. Feeling a little better. I was also sick this week. Everything just kind of piled on the last week, hence why it's taken me a few days to come back to this vlog. I'll likely have a part two spring cleaning for the bathrooms and the wardrobe and all of that or just whatever else I get up to in the following weeks. I hope you guys are all having a lovely day. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will see all of you in my next vlog. Bye guys. Shut the lights go in from red. Oh, oh, oh. We can spend all